Hello and thank you for joining me for day 7 of my 365 days of crafting videos. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I am going to show you how to do a grommet with this tool and then I'm going to show you my favorite craft supplies. So this is one of my favorite craft tools. You can punch holes, you can attach grommets and snaps. Um, it's just really handy. It's much easier than using the old hammer and, and tool method. So what this does is it, you can do two different size holes. You can do the smaller hole and you can do the larger hole. And it makes perfect holes in your fabric. You can also use it for paper. So this is a gift tag that I've made up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a grommet in it so I can put a ribbon to attach it to my gift. So what you want to do is for paper I'm going to use the larger hole. So you'll want to make a hole in your paper and then I'm going to take, I think I'm going to use a red grommet and just slide that right in the hole. Turn it over. I have it on the grommet setting here. There's four different settings. One for snaps um, and there's different different things that you can use with this as well. And then I am going to, oops, I've got to move this up. And then I am going to go ahead and press hard. And then I have my grommet. And then all I have to do is put my ribbon through it. Tie a little knot. And it's ready to go on a gift. Now a grommet in fabric is just as easy. You want to put this on the smaller hole. I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole. And then I'm going to put my grommet in the hole. It's the exact same method. I'm going to line it up here. Press hard. And there I have my grommet and my fabric. It's great to have on hand a lot of buttons. Uh, most of these buttons I found at thrift stores. A lot of them are vintage. I have some newer buttons here that I bought at the craft store. It's just great to have a lot of buttons on hand. I probably have over a thousand buttons in my collection. So these are some other essentials that I like to have on hand. I always have craft glue. I always have a lot of different colors of paint. This is all fabric paint. I have regular acrylic paint as well. Um, your epoxy for making jewelry and Mod Podge for decoupaging. Also I use it in my tutorial that shows you how to do the easy silk screen. Okay, I admit it, I'm a fabric addict. I just love fabric. It just makes me feel so good. I love to go and look at my fabric collection and just see the possibilities of what I can make out of it. This is just a small sample of my fabric collection and I think it's just good to have a lot of different fabrics on hand. I have a lot of trim, ribbon, and lace. A lot of this I found at thrift stores. A lot of it's vintage. Some of it's new. I just love to have a lot of different trims and ribbons on hand because I never know what I'm going to be making. Freezer paper is one of my favorite things to have on hand. I use it for stenciling, obviously, and I also use it because it has a coated top so you can use it when you're doing paint projects or any other kind of, of um, projects where you don't want what you're making to stick. Another must-have for me is a magnetic pin holder. Um, I just really rather use this than a pin cushion. It keeps your pins all in one place. You don't have to worry about them falling off. Um, when you're done with a project, you can take the pin holder and scan the floor around you and make sure that you've gotten all your pins. It's especially good if you have little ones. I also have a self-mending cutting board, a ruler, and a rotary cutter, and those Three things right there are must-haves for any crafter or sewer. So having different scissors is great. I have my fabric scissors and then I have my crafting scissors. Um, it's just a good idea to have different scissors for your fabric and then for paper and other kinds of things that you're going to be cutting. Thank you so much for viewing day 7 of my 365 days of craft videos. I hope today has been useful for you. Um, it's just a way for you to keep your eyes out when you're in thrift stores or craft stores or fabric stores. Look for great deals on craft supplies. You never know what you're going to find. So until tomorrow, happy crafting.